Welcome to another episode of Ozark Overland Adventures. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> What an amazing sunrise out here in the South Arizona desert. If you're not up to speed on where we are and how we got here, uh, go, go check out the previous video. But we are on the El Camino del Diablo Trail, or the Camino Muerta, the road of death, or the Devil's Highway, in far southern Arizona. Um, this route dates back... I think before the 1700s, somewhere around the 1700s, um, as travelers trying to get from um, from the east to California, this was a way to uh, avoid Indians in the summertime. Uh, it's also a way to die of dehydration a lot too. There's supposedly more than 2,000 people have died on this road. Um, so it's kind of crazy. The road from from here to where we're to where we'll end um, in the morning is uh, littered with grave sites. We saw one yesterday, one of the famous ones, and we'll see a lot more today. So it's kind of kind of interesting. I'm not gonna say cool because I don't think it was cool, um, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, but we're just getting around. We're hanging out with with Epic Family Road Trip uh, these last few days and having a blast. So. We're going to finish getting ready. Kara's getting ready in the tent. Rooster's wandering around, just checking out everything. Man, in, in the wintertime, this South Arizona desert is incredible. The temperatures are perfect. Lows in the you know low 50s, upper 40s. Highs in the mid-70s. This is the place to come in the wintertime. Good morning. <laughs> How did you sleep? Um, a lot better than last night. That last night was well, when you were sleeping. The, the night before last. <laughs> you know what I mean. Still sleepy. Still sleepy. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. It's a cool spot. Did you see the epic sunrise from the windows? Yeah, it was epic. It was epic. With the family on a road trip. <laughs> How many times are we gonna use the word epic? A lot. <laughs> We are off, and I can't wait to see what the day has in store. I know, it's gonna be exciting. More sand. Lots more sand. Um, some more rocky sections, some more water well things, I think. Yeah, um, more volcanic rock. Oh yeah, we've got a whole vol volcanic lava Ooh. flow area.
this being our first time really in the desert southwest. I get the appeal. Yeah. I mean, it's a weird beauty, but it is beautiful. Even though every plant out here wants to kill you. That plant wants to kill you. That cactus wants to kill you. That one's got spines. It wants to kill you. No, it just wants to survive. <laughs> and have you not messed with it? Yeah, the cuddly bear cactus don't look too cuddly to me. No. But God, they're, I mean, they're pretty. I they're love different. the way the light hits the spines and they almost glow. Look at that. It's like a little Mickey Mouse. Pom poms. <laughs> pom poms on its head. It's just so cool. I would not want to be here in the summer. Oh my gosh. At all. Like, avoid this place at all costs in the summertime. sudden we're coming out of the sand and into lava flows. There it is, lava. I think we found a good spot for lunch. Nice little lunch spot here. Got a beautiful view of the of the border wall over there, and the mountains in Mexico, and lava fields over here. It is a lovely place. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I mean, it covers for quite a bit. Because up ahead is a monument crater, so I'm sure. Yeah, the lava flow looks like so right here. Yep. Oh, my word, I can see everything. But how there. do people get it? How do people get through that? They don't. There's gaps. Oh, okay. So nothing happens here. Two things. One, I expected the volcanic area to be a little bit bigger than this. It's way bigger. We're gonna keep going into it. Oh, is it? Is there more? No, it's look at this, way all the way up. Oh, but I like was expecting like way more, up until more, I get to this. I was expecting a volcano. There is one up here that you can go is to. Is it? Oh, cool. Where those people stand. Uh, two. As much as I love the actual travel and doing what we're doing right now and seeing the stuff. When we're traveling with friends like this, it's the stopping for lunch and the, the conversation. getting to camp around the campfire. That's my favorite. Especially when it's when people you don't really know well, and so you're getting to know them. Yep. And then also friends that you don't see often. Yep. Not saying that Makes I sense. don't like hanging out with people that I do see often. Or, you know. Danielle, she just said she doesn't. I like did not. Out with <laughs> You made me cry. Stop. She's my best friend and I hardly have talked to her. You really haven't talked to her much. She texted me and she said, I miss you. And I said, oh, you do? Really? Maybe that's what it takes. Me being gone for hours. 
hours and days really? on it. That's when you miss our. Yeah, I mean, we spent <laughs> what an hour and a half almost, an hour back there for lunch. I don't know. Just we talking, to... it's great. We just passed, uh, this is one of the graves, last name of Namer, died in 1871, I don't remember the details. I gotta say, this trail it is, a little, is a little weird, that it's the only trail we've ever done where it's, it's known for how many people have died along it. It is. I mean, because you just know the conditions in which they perished. Yeah. You know. And they were trying to like, trying to better their lives and make a living. And I mean, and everybody who died out here died a horrible death. Mm -hmm. You know, dehydration. Drowning. Drowning. One guy. Being murdered. Yeah. Like it's not. They died peacefully in their sleep and went to be with the Lord. Nope. Out of the lava flows and now into the land of desolation of new cactus. I don't yeah, think we haven't seen a lot of these cactus yet. Are those just barrels? I guess. Barrel cactuses? I don't know, not a cactus expert. Yeah, they look like cluster of barrels. I agree, they do. <laughs> we'll say that's what it is. You can tell that they are because of the way that they look. <laughs> well, we've hit a very muddy section that. We are going to bypass because that looks oh my awful gosh, that down in there. That may be a lake. I don't know, but there's a the road does go this way, so we'll uh, we'll see. Dan may Dan Dan may try to do it. Yeah, I might. <laughs> that is some nasty stuff. I don't think Dan could make that. Another Ross monster can't make that. Wow. I think Dan's decided this is impassable, which is a smart choice. I mean, we are still a long way from yeah, he's civilization. Die. Yeah, we're a long way from civilization. Um, and if we got, it, this could end up badly. I, he, I don't That's think gross. he could see this path. Uh, no, I think so, he could see that water hole, but not all this. Right, and then once you get in here, that it's is just like... goopy mess. Yeah. yeah, this is not where Some of them's tried it. That's crazy. Yeah. Not me. Nope. Don't want to get that dirty. Yeah, when you're on these type of longer, longer trips in remote areas, you just, you, you, you just, you just, you, you, just, just expedition you, mindset. you gotta have the expedition mindset. That's an XO thing. Um, you know, you, you, don't, you just, you, there's nothing to prove. There's nothing to prove here. So. That was the longest bundle I've ever seen. That was, that's not what I can't imagine when I wrestled a lake on the, on the map. But this road's fine. Yeah. 
Well, sadly, there was a road on the map that indicated it went down to the border wall, but it didn't exist anymore. And every other road that we see crossing across the desert to the border wall says road closed. So I'm guessing it's for official use only. We wanted to go see it. There's no need to get a picture. No. I just want to stick my hand through it and say my hand was in there. My hand was in Mexico. You electrocuted? It's not electrified. I'm just kidding. But this desert road is super fun to drive fast on. Yeah. There's the first border patrol station. anybody's home. Major communications tower there. Bye Dan. There's another one of the graves on the road. Not sure what this one is. What's the name of this one? Dave O'Neill. Dave O'Neill. Uh, let's see. We have offerings of bullets, coins, flowers, Rocks. lighters, all Chinese coins. cats. Um, I don't know why we're offering all this stuff to Dave O'Neill's grave, but this is the O'Neill Hills. Yeah, they named uh, stuff the stuff Yeah, <clears throat> that was in mm -hmm. um, some mirrors, so you can see people coming. My operation said excellence. Somebody huh. took their patch off. You just desecrated his grave. I did not. I'm so giving him back. This area here, they said that so many people died along this stretch because they, uh, the wind would shift and change and completely obliterate the trail. Ah. And so they'd get lost. And this whole trail was water point to water point, right? That's the only way he stayed yeah, alive. Yeah. And poor Dave got lost and uh, ended up dying of dehydration and exposure. Poor Dave. Poor Dave, but There's his right his mule, had he stuck with his mule, his mule they found at the water well. Oh, really? Never and leave your mule. Animals will, yeah, that's the moral of the story. Wow. <clears throat> Wipe the bullets on the left. It is. I'm surprised there's not like any kind of like Mexican currency. Uh, is there not? No, this is all English. There's some, uh, no, no, there's some pesos, there's some pesos oh, there? down in there oh, too. Okay. Yeah, there's one. Oh. oh no, that's an American. No, this is American is too. It? It's got a weird top on it. A green huh. tip. Oh, here's yeah, it's one a green right tip. here. Five, five, six, probably. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Did you come out and play? <laughs> lizard. Lando found a lizard or something in there. He's looking at the other hole. He is. Like... Like we played whack a mole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whack a lizard. Not digging properly. Papa go well. That says that way. Is this it? Uh huh. This is the well? Yep. The big orange tank? Yep. Well, let's see if the well works. There's water. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to drink it. Kind of scared. But I'm guessing it's fine. Do you want to drink it? No. Why not? Well, water. Yes. People live off that. I don't. You don't want to drink it? No, I'm just on air, Fiji only. You what? Just on air, Fiji only. That's bougie. They've got this. I'm, I guess with this being all the way down means it's full. Um, maybe on the other side. That looks really clear. I'm gonna try it. Smell it. Smells like clean water. Tastes like clean water. It's a little, little minerally. Got a little, little irony taste. 
probably use a little iron in my diet in my diet but otherwise it's good no time no, absolutely not Somehow we're now in a forest. Something. Like this just came out of nowhere. I didn't even see it coming across the vast nothingness. Uh -huh. I guess that's what all this is, maybe. Oh. Well, that'll so we'll show you when we go. Far right. Oh, maybe far left. That's better. <laughs> Dan's like, watch this. Nope, he went around it. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. entering the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Visitor smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered. Okay. Um, let's see. You have a solar charging station for your, you know, Livetti. Stop it. Batesville Road. That's what we're on. This road offers access to the historic Batesville Ranch, one of the earliest established Anglo-American ranches in the area. We are just driving through this corner of the National Monument. Looks like there's some cool stuff down here, though. Well, it is just after 5 o'clock, and we are just zipping through the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. There's, in this stretch of road, there's nothing to, to see or do. So we're just zipping through. We're going to get into some BLM land here in just a minute, find camp. And we, that cactus is crazy. <laughs> Way crazy. That looks inappropriate. It really did. <laughs> but as soon as we cross into BLM land, we'll be able to launch the drones. Currently on the lookout for camp, which I think I've found a potential one right up here.
right, well, we made it to camp. And this is quite amazing. Wow. I mean, sure beats a hotel. Look at that. But it has a million star views. I bet it does too. What a perfect way to end the uh, Devil's Devil's Road, I guess it's called. This is uh, looks like uh, Heaven's Road has just begun. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. Look at the look at the heavens. It's unbelievable. Yeah. God, and the colors just keep getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah. Get your time lapse going. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Peter's got a real fire going for us tonight with a dead cactus and just dried wood gathered up from around here. Uh, man, seeing a sunset like that that we had, I mean, that's, that's an emotional experience right there. Oh, you just, you just don't get, you just don't get that every night. Um, God, what a special place. I mean, we're tucked in here to the Saguaro cactus and the mountains in the background. Incredible sunset over here. Oh man. Special place. And Carol is making spaghetti squash, spaghetti, which we love for dinner tonight. And she's cooking the squash in the fire. How cool is that? Yeah, it's the perfect overlanding oven. It is. I've never seen spaghetti squash cooked like that. That's brilliant. It gives it a nice flavor. I bet it does. I'm just getting the meat kind of prepped and ready. Just turned on the stove top and I have chorizo and some ground pork, I mean beef, excuse me. And I'm gonna mix that together with uh, my marinade and a little bit of garlic and onion. Some keeping it really, really simple this time. I love I the fact you're throwing chorizo in there. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I think it'll taste really good and help with the bring out the smoky flavor of the fire. So, hope you guys like it. I'm pumped. Yeah, I am too because I'm starving. <laughs> All right, she brought me dinner. Look how amazing that is. The little, the little bread crostini things and the spaghetti squash. I can't wait to dig into that. Spaghetti squash in the fire. The soup from the other night. Oh my gosh. Chorizo and your Well, unfortunately, we have to pack up and start the long journey home this morning. God, it's just, it is so peaceful out here in the desert. This may be, may be one of my new favorite places, especially in the wintertime. <laughs> just got up. Hiking out here, just away from camp. Let's just see what I can see. The sun's starting to come up. It's, it's a whole different world than what I'm used to. I mean, the, the plants are so unique here. These shrub brushes, the, all the different kinds of cactus. These weird... Like there it is. Looks like looks like a Grinch tree. It's all green. Like the trunk is green. And it's one of the few ones out here that don't want to kill you. 
but man, being here amongst the, the tall cactuses, the sombreros, is really cool. Because those suckers get big. Like you see them, but you don't really realize it until you're standing right next to one. Oh, very sad to have to head home today. Sad to have to leave Pete and Carol. I had a great time with them. But in, in, in four weeks, I'll be back. Because Kara's rebel rally training that she was supposed to be at now got moved to the end of February. And since she's coming back then, I'm going to come as well and gonna gonna spend may maybe able to hook back up with Pete and Carol while I'm down here if they're still in the area um, but really just just plan on doing some some solo exploration out here but we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens but I'm excited about that trip because the, there's just so much to see and do here that even after seven days in the desert i'll probably not want to probably not want to leave Good morning. Good morning. I know. They've had the first time. Yeah, oh. that's so fun. Really fun. Love, Love you guys. Safe travels, and we'll see you down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, it's been great. Right, oh, well. It's been so good. Get you better? Yeah. Sure you get Okay. Bye. Yeah. It's so good to see you guys. Fun trip. Picking brain. Yeah. 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 Good to finally meet you. Yeah. Thank you for telling us and talking to us about all things. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Aww. Y'all are giving me sad. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So, uh, what do y'all think? Should we uh, hook back up with Epic Family Road Trip again? I say yes. Yeah. We had a blast. For sure. So we are very sad to be leaving, um, but hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, this little series out here in the desert. But we'll be back because I have fallen in love with the Southwest U.S. desert. Um, yeah. It is unlike any place. It's the north. And. So be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not. We have a goal that we're going to be hitting, I think, pretty soon of 100,000. So we'll have to figure out what our next goal will be. What do y'all think it should be? Um, yeah, so leave a comment below and let us know. Give Epic some love over on their channel as well because this video will be posting for their side as too. So it's always cool to see two different videos. Um, and if you are not a member of our Patreon, that's how you can get access to all of our waypoints, GPS data, and trips like this one. And be sure also to check out shopoverlandapparel.com. That's where you can get our merch. I have it on under here because I'm always cold. But also, Grit and Grace Rebel Rally merch is there as well. So excited about that. Um, but yeah, we can't wait to see you guys down the road. Bye. Bye, y'all.